Hey fun fans, we're giving away a Devastator 3 keyboard and mouse combo courtesy of Cooler Master on YouTube for this month of June. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to Fun's YouTube channel and leave a comment on which state or region you think will be the next to go to districts. You can enter once per upload and we'll pick a winner near the end of June. Shut up and sit down. So our first story tonight is kicking off with some new district discussions, starting out with a big announcement that the first in Texas district is already growing before it's even started. According to a forum post by first in Texas board member and NASA employee Chris Colbert, uh, members of first in Texas met with Don Bosi at the partner summit in Florida and agreed that New Mexico will be able to participate in Texas districts for next season. There are currently eight teams in New Mexico, and they will also be able to participate in the Texas District Championships. New Mexico team will be assigned a home district event, and the only thing that they won't be eligible for is the Texas UIL State Championship. So, Karthik, I would love to hear your thoughts on New Mexico joining Texas, but I think the more important discussion is how this could potentially impact other areas who might be looking to go districts like Wisconsin, for example, but are concerned with bringing in other neighboring states due to geographical and geopolitical funding. Well, um, I think this is really cool. I was very excited to hear that New Mexico was um, being led into Texas and they're going to have their little Tex-Mex uh, district. And it's not, I don't really know any of the teams from New Mexico or anything like that, but I just love that FIRST is open to the creation of more multi-state districts. And it seems that there's some flexibility in there because as more regions go to districts, you will have you know those states out there which only have a handful of teams, they could easily be locked out and be in a really you know, dangerous spot where they're not big enough to support a regional, but they can't travel to adjacent states because those states are all in districts. So having the ability to bring a small state in like New Mexico into an established district system, that's a very, very good thing. Um, just in terms of flexibility in general, um, there were a couple of threads on Chief on districts recently. And, you know, uh, amidst all the animated gifts, there were some actual like nuggets in there. And so like one was <clears throat> the story that Idaho was actually almost invited. They were invited to join the PNW district, but then once they established an Idaho regional, the teams in Idaho decided, hey, we're gonna do our own thing. I learned that Alaska has been invited to the PNW, been playing with PNW for a while. And also there was the interesting case, team 1102, who um, was a South Carolina, but then they, they're a community-based team, not a school-based team. They moved their shop into Georgia and they were allowed to compete in Georgia with their team being like 50, 50, students from South Carolina and Georgia. But like all said, it's just a lo lot of flexibility. So I think it's great that FIRST is actually open to making exceptions like this on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, I think there was a big perception amongst the community that districts have to be very rigid and there's, you know, certain like borders have to be drawn and walls are going up. But if FIRST is actually able to, on a case-by-case -case basis, grant exceptions like this, I think it's gonna help the transition as more regions hopefully eventually move to districts. Yeah, and I think that case-by-case -case basis is something that um, I'm interested in discussing in our, our point that we'll get to in a moment. Um, but I do think that there's this, we're going to end up with these weird situations where um, for, like first teams are on these islands of there's all districts around us, <clears throat> New York, um, that they want to be a part of and currently can't because of the system. And I think that there's a lot that first can do here to really make things accessible for teams in a way that we're not hurting them based on their travel uh, distance or, or having to change their season fundamentally because of other states around them going to districts. Right. And I think it's cool that these exceptions we read. Like, I, I think the coolest exception that was granted was this year in Ontario. Um, team 7329, um, the Afghan Dreamers, consisted of um, you know seven or eight girls who were all from Afghanistan, but they were on an exchange and they, they lived in Ontario during the build season and they were allowed to compete as an Ontario team. And I think it was one of the coolest things that happened in Ontario it was really inspiring. And just, you know, first was able to do that on a case by case basis. So like that's, I, I'm just glad that things aren't as rigid as they seem to be. So like kudos to first for like allowing this to happen. But um, Libby, you kind of touched on this. You said there's a topic you wanted to talk about and you have some updates for us on what's happening um, with Mar and Western Pennsylvania and all that jazz. So um, let it, what do you know? And all that jazz indeed. Okay, so this is uh, this information actually comes from at Midnight Mayhem at 1923's off season. Uh, First Mid-Atlantic asked to host their annual board meeting. They always do a June board meeting and they said, there's an event in June, can we please host it there? Um, and that was all fine and good. We're happy to host that. We did it last year too. We just used, you know, a room in the school. Um, and now MAR board meetings are, the members of MAR are all invited and it was great to have it an event because we could actually keep an eye on 
everything that Mars doing in kind of their annual reports. Um, and so what I want to touch on is that this is what this was discussed at that meeting. As the event coordinator, I was in and out of it a little bit, um, but at least someone from 1923 was there the whole time. Um, and this is what was brought up at the time. So it's interesting that we're talking about case by case basis because they're going to contradict ourselves just a little bit here. So Mar expressed that they were also having discussions about the um, Western Pennsylvania situation. If you don't know, um, the Mid-Atlantic region, Mar, first Mid-Atlantic, is um, New Jersey, Delaware, and everywhere east of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Now, first has demonstrated or told to Mar that that's not okay, and they want Pennsylvania to all be one district. Now, Pennsylvania, if you're not up on your geography, is a large state, um, which Sorry, would make, me, yeah? Just to confirm, you said first wants Pennsylvania to all be one state, or was that? That is that is what we were, that is what Mar expressed to us okay, um, at that meeting, was that just, first is asking for Pennsylvania, for any state that is in a district, the whole state is in a district, is in one the same district. Gotcha. And so that's a directive from headquarters. That's what was implied that is what Mar. my understanding of what Mar was saying um, was. So what um, what Mar was saying to us is that, hey, this is only first once. Um, this is what you know we're going to get. So we basically had the discussion is that it would be really, really difficult to bring Pittsburgh and the Erie area in Pennsylvania out into Mar because that's a really, really big distance. Uh, there's a great couple of threads on or couple of discussions on a thread on Chief Delphi about it if you want to catch yourself up. But um, basically what Mar gave us at this meeting is that they were at the partner summit trying to talk it out and did not come to a confirmed result. But this is what we feel comfortable talking about right now. Um, so with that said, the Pittsburgh, this is what they have said to us as members of Mar. So any mem anybody who competes in Mar is allowed to register, become a member of First Mid-Atlantic. Um, and that's where we can get this information at these meetings. So that the Pittsburgh Regional would tentatively, again, all of this is tentative and not confirmed as, but it's like mostly confirmed is basically the gist we got. This Pittsburgh Regional would- This is I, I am annoyed that I didn't compose a chief post on this as someone who listened into that meeting, um, but I, I'll get there. I promise. I've been a little busy closing up after uh, Midnight Breaking May. news on fun. <laughs> Break. Let's get right into the news, folks. Um, so we are uh, the... <laughs> Sorry, producer Tyler just said something that we can't repeat on the show. <laughs> Jesus, Tyler. Okay. <laughs> okay, back on track. Yes, there is a there's here's your internet text. Um, I also have a, a this is fine dog who's not facing the camera at the moment. Um, but the Pittsburgh Regional is apparently still on for 2019, but Western Pennsylvania would be joining Mar in 2020 and becoming the Western Pennsylvania, like, for example, the Pittsburgh, the Erie districts. Um, so that's what we are being told is happening. Now, the interesting thing, and this is probably only really interesting if you're a member of Mar or if you're on a Mar team, is that we were originally told that we're allowed to that the members vote on decisions for example changes to the mar bylaws but now there's some weird contention on is that a member decision or a board decision and we don't know what the answer is and is there a possibility that first just says doesn't matter what your members say this is what you have to do because you're a franchise of us so the the pittsburgh regional would still be happening western pennsylvania would then join mar in 2020 so what mar is basically stating in this board meeting is that in this is i'm sorry it's not a board meeting it is a public meeting for all members of mar this is not exclusive to to the members of the board i'm not a member of the board i'm just a mentor on a team um that Mar is looking to essentially bring some of the Mar key volunteers out to Pittsburgh and help out with the regional and get acquainted with that regional and that regional committee um, for 2019. So in the 2019 event, you would see more folks like going to Pittsburgh regional from Mar to kind of help seed some volunteers and seed a culture of sharing and collaboration. Now, I would actually love to extend that as a Mar team to be a team that goes to Pittsburgh Regional and it's like, hey, we're gonna be in your district next year, let's make friends. Um, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible or if that's something the Pittsburgh Regional Committee will consider would be like having Mar teams come off the wait list, I don't know. Um, First Mid-Atlantic has basically expressed that a couple of the challenges are gonna be filling the two Western Pennsylvania districts to capacity, um, for which my kids were like, we'll go. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the also, and also that the Ohio and West Virginia teams, 
is that they're not going to have events to play at. And we've got that discussion has been has been brought up before here. Um, someone brought up um, in the meeting that the uh, <clears throat> that a, su a suggestion that they think Mar could leverage for is that the displaced uh, Ohio and West Virginia teams could be temporarily allowed to register for these districts um, that for a, a, a buy in period of a year or two, maybe while that Ohio West Virginia district gets started. Um, that those teams should be allowed to kind of do the New Mexico annex um, and be a part of it um, or would be able to like there should be some sort of weird case by case basis where like they're playing in the regional. It's really a district, but they're accepting that, that would advance them in some way. Um, basically, the response from the members of the Mar board who are answering those questions was that, again, this is what they are saying first is saying. So it's not only third party, but it's telephone. Right, <laughs> um, is that first would not be interested in that kind of arrangement, that their registration system can't handle that, um, that they got a bunch of reasoning why you could not jump a non district team into a district. Um, Mar has said they don't want to add Ohio, West Virginia, because they made the important point that that would make the district a hilarious westward line across the country and would not be a great way to organize everybody. Um, our, the suggestion that that person brought up. Um, in the kind of open forum was that it would be kind to give them the option. And I think the fact that we just talked about that New Mexico is jumping into Texas is we, it really should be like a, an option for these teams. Cause when the Pittsburgh regional goes away, they're not going to have as many places to play. Um, and I think they do need flexibility in this situation, but the, the TLDR is that Pittsburgh regional 2019, Western Pennsylvania becomes part of Mar in 2020. Um, and first hasn't figured out what they're going to do with Ohio and West Virginia, but they don't want them to be in Mar. Um, and it doesn't, it, that was pretty much the information we got. And again, it was listed as this was the, this was the discussion that we had, but we haven't just finalized it and we're not a hundred percent sure, but we're mostly sure. And that was the extent of the Mar meeting. And I promise that I will try to type this up a little bit and put it on chief. So it's in that thread and kind of recorded, um, but that's that's what we got when we asked about it. Um, and there's not a lot of plan as far as what they want it. Basically, what they want to do is get that system in place so they can help in 2019 so that 2020 isn't big and scary and happening all at once. Um, so I have thoughts on all of this. Um, I, I guess the New Mexico thing was first allowing an entire state to join the Texas districts. Um, with the Ohio, would, is this all of Ohio that is wanting to join Mar, or is it? Just I don't like believe so. Eastern? I think it's really the Eastern yeah. of Ohio team. So I totally understand where kind of like folding them into a district doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, I, because again, first has said all state or no state. So exactly, that's that's what it comes down to. Like the exception that was granted with New Mexico was like they're adding a whole state. And just again, reading through some of those posts on Chief, um, I, I think it was. Um, one of the uh, founders of the PNW region was talking about that with Idaho. That was the whole thing. It had to be the whole state or none of the state. So, yeah, that's, I mean, we've talked about this on this show. I know that the fun network, it's been talked about on Chief many times that it's like, um, as more districts are found, founded, and as districts expand or whatever, there's going to be some teams that are locked out and are in weird places. And especially since there's no, like, schedule for every region to move on the districts or you know i don't even know if that's a goal anymore it just like there's it, it's going to be tight for some areas yeah. you know i think the one thing that um was expressed during the mar meeting and that i hope the folks leading mar and i think they do understand is that and uh, maybe this is where i'm getting real candid is like mar has a lot of leverage here because first has essentially said you are the one district that isn't doing the thing we want we need you to do the thing that we want and include Pennsylvania in the whole district. So there's a lot of push here where Mar could be the squeaky wheel that is like, okay, we'll add Pennsylvania if you go to a universal point system. We'll add Pennsylvania if you do this. There is no like there is no reason Mar should just be laying down and taking this. We should be trying to make districts better for everyone and and improve the system because it's clear that first is like very insistent on Pennsylvania being all in one district. And I think Mar has a lot of leverage that they should be using here to improve the district system for all teams and to try and make something work or to propose solutions that that could help with situations like this or New York or 
all of these islands of regional teams in the middle of districts now, I think that Mars should definitely use this as a jumping off point to make things better. And I'm not sure that they're quite ready for that yet because there's not a plan in place. Uh, we got a question from Chad here. Um, N Satterfield 2019 wants to know if we believe that uh, eventually every state slash region will join a district. There are some places that don't make sense as a district. Is uh, the... Do you have an example? So actually, I'll bring an example from the Mar thing. Sure. They said if, if Ohio, West Virginia wanted to do that, that would be too small, which I don't believe because Indiana was, what, 36 when they got started? Something um, but I know, like, maybe it's not that it doesn't make sense for districts, but that not every state or region mm. is an appropriate, um, like, could be, fits into the model that first has now stated is important is that all state, the whole state is one district. For example, California. Like, really, really big states, obviously Texas is going to be a challenge to this idea, but really, really big states with a huge geographic area is going to be a problem for teams. Um, in terms of travel, because eventually you're going to have an event that you have to go to that's not close by. Um, I'm not sure that like, uh, chats bring up a good point is that there are countries with only two teams, um, that may not make well, sense right. for a district. That's... Um, I don't know what first plan is. And I wish I knew more about what they exactly wanted to do as far as rolling districts out to everyone, because it, it would make sense if that they're all districts. But I think it, my, what my hope that their goal is that is that everybody is on the same qualification system and that it's not random by your your geographic location how you get to a championship or how you advance yeah. um but if that means everybody's in districts or everybody's on a point system or what that means i think is really up to first goals which we have not seen <laughs> stated anywhere for this program yeah i definitely haven't seen anything recently of any direction that hey first is saying by year 20 xx we want to have all teams and districts i think it's very open right now and you know i've heard that they're very content with certain regions staying out of districts so um you know, i don't see it happening in the next five years i'll say that much but um that's enough about districts for now uh well this is sort of about districts